There's a lot of good guns in Fortnite, but which one is the best one? Let's find out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop right away at the Underworld. I'm also going to let you guys know what the best medallion is and uh, some honorable mentions to the best guns ever. All right, let's perfect this drop here. We got a decent amount of people landing with us. Who wants the fight, huh? Who wants it? Landing here. We got uh, some interesting loot. We got the Frenzy, which, spoiler alert, uh, definitely not one of the best weapons in the game. Not anymore. They kind of nerfed it into the ground. But the DMR. DMR is better than people think, but uh, definitely by no means the best weapon in Fortnite. We're looking for stuff that could be considered borderline overpowered, you know? And that is a difficult bar to achieve, honestly. Like, yes, this thing one-shot headshots, but in those one-shot headshots can be pretty tough. Maybe not for me, but... I'm going to kind of nuts on him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Got Hades medallion as well. I'm hearing a lot of noise. Got him. Now you see Hades medallion is actually really, really good. The aspect siphon. When you eliminate players, you get uh, health back, which is phenomenal. I love that. Is it the best medallion? I don't think so. so let's start off with what I think is the worst medallion, and that is going to be Ares. Ares is all right, you know, but it's nothing to write home about. You get 15 or 10% more range damage, which at the end of the day really doesn't make much of a difference, honestly. The other medallions definitely provide more use. So number four would be Ares. Number three, I'm gonna put as Zeus, you know? It's nice to get the extra running speed, the uh, no fall damage. I've taken fall damage with it, I don't know why, but uh, it claims to have no fall damage with it. And then also uh, the higher jump. Like those are nice, but they kind of mess up shock waves and uh, what the heck? I guess I didn't need it to mess up a shockwave. I just did it myself. But yeah, they kind of mess up shockwaves and uh, it's, it's like pretty good though. It's better than 15% range damage all right that's where it lands what are y'all doing over here don't mind me i'm just gonna hop on in Ooh -ah. Ooh -ah. give me that hand cannon ah second place is gonna be uh hades medallion the siphon medallion it's really good like if you're fighting multiple people and you just don't want to carry as many heals or you just need to get help between fights it's really helpful because you eliminate somebody you get help it's that simple if you're good at the game it's good now, finally, the best medallion is going to be this one right here, the Cerberus medallion. It gives you these underworld dashes. And so long as you're, like, not really around the underworld area, it gives you an extreme advantage. I'm not even trolling. Like, it is so good. You win so many fights because people can't just handle it. They literally can't handle it. Come on, Cerberus, chill. 153 to the dome. Oh, my gosh. Deagle would be good if it just wasn't bad, you know? That's my review of it, honestly. Aspect of Agility, I love you. Best medallion in the game. Best heal, I think it's gotta be Flowberry Fizz. The mobility is so nice. You heal, you go faster. It's just phenomenal. It just combos with so many things like Underworld Dash. Very nice. Well, let's start talking about weaponry. I mean, I just got this Mythic Gatekeeper shotgun. Is it the best thing in the game? No, not exactly. And I'll explain why in a sec. Let's go hunt some more people down. I got to find some more weapons that I need to talk about. So I'm going to say at the moment, there are three best weapons in the game. And I'll rank them from best to, you know, really, really good to really good. I mean, again, these are the best weapons in the game. So all of them are, in my opinion, overpowered in comparison to the rest of the weapon pool. I also got some honorable mentions that you honestly might not believe. So make sure to watch this whole thing because you need to know. Looks like there was a fight over here. Oh, I see somebody. You see right here? Like I have underworld hops. They don't. Eat stone. Oh, a little misstep by them. And here we have found one of the most overpowered weapons in Fortnite, the Thunder Burst SMG with the laser mod. This thing deals so much damage and it's so accurate without you having to aim in, it is ridiculous. Seriously, if you haven't tried this thing, you need to. You don't need like the most insane accuracy either. Oh my gosh. Talk about overpowered. One of them just hit me in the back. I'm running, I'm out of here. <laughs> keep trying to snipe me. I'm jumping out of here. So look at this thing. It absolutely lasers. Just so good. 
You have to be pretty good at aiming, but there's essentially no bloom to it when you get that hip fire mod. So it is extremely good in the right hands. Honestly, even in the wrong hands, if you're not that good at aiming, as long as you can hit them, you'll do like 75 plus damage, you know? Because typically if you hit one shot, you're going to hit probably two out of the three. Hey, where is this person? There's somebody here. Ah, I see you fighting. I'm coming in hot. Especially if you do strategies like this, you are just able to, while in the air, just hit these insane shots like this. Like so much damage. Honorable mention for zero build, the Nemesis AR is actually nutty. It's so accurate and the hip fire is really good too. But I'm talking build mode. Who keeps trying to snipe me? Stop. One oh five. Here comes the honorable mention water. Ow. Oh my gosh, that's my signature side peek. I always get people with that one. I love it. So as I was trying to say before I was really interrupted, water bending is really, really good. I didn't think I would be saying this, but it deals so much damage. It's really accurate and you have unlimited ammo, essentially. It is a deadly combo. Can you not? Oh my, I just got a grenade hucked at me. What's up, bro? Good night. Oh, shoot, there's a grenade on that roof. Okay, we're chilling. Give me that aspect of speed from Zeus. If you're playing competitive, I mean, it's just great to uh, deal damage to people without having to worry about ammo. And if you hit one shot, just like the Thunderburst, it's gonna deal a lot to them. And interestingly enough, I'm gonna drop my Mythic Shotgun for this purple one over here, but I'm actually gonna carry them both so I can show you something. Let's just fizz real quick and hit this launch pad. And while we're flying, look at this. You probably ask, why drop the Mythic for the purple? Let's inspect them. This one does 97 damage. The purple does 88. The purple makes up for that in a big way, though. Definitely, if you find a gold gatekeeper, I would use that over the purple. But for demonstration purposes, I only have the purple. So now the thing is, the purple's only better if you have a certain mod on it. So let's go ahead and drop this Mythic. And let's go modify this uh, weapon. We'll actually wait until the uh, floating island comes through. And then that's a great chance to modify the sniper as well, which is going to be the third most overpowered powered weapon in Fortnite. The fact that you could just like it is so ridiculous and they keep trying to nerf this thing into the ground. It doesn't matter. The sniper is too overpowered it is absolutely busted. You can put all different types of scopes on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, the floating island spawned here. Let's zip line up to the top. In terms of modifications for these weapons, the Gatekeeper Shotgun is only overpowered if it is purple or gold with the Drum Mag. You also need the laser, and I would just put a muzzle brake on there. Now, here's the thing. Instead of the three shots that you get normally, now you get five. Yeah. So when you're putting those pressure situations, you're in the same box as somebody else, this thing will save your life with an extra two shots. Yes, it'll do slightly less damage, but the two extra shots definitely makes up for it. Now, for the Thunderburst SMG, I would personally put a Drum Mag on it then you need the laser and I would put a muzzle brake or a silencer. If you're using it over an AR, which I usually do, I'd probably put a red dot on it. And then for the sniper, what I found to be the most overpowered, you want a sniper scope, drum mag, angled foregrip, and silencer. This way, basically, you don't have to reload the sniper ever. You have five shots in it. You can aim down sight really fast and it's just so easy to obliterate people with it, honestly. Look at that guy over there. So yeah, in my inventory, you see the best weapons in Fortnite, but which one is the best one? And before I say that, I do want to point out another honorable mention, which is not actually a weapon, but it's a mythic. That is going to be airbending. It is such great mobility. I still think shockwaves are probably a little bit better just because of everything you can do with them. But Flowberry Fizz and airbending just is one of the best mobilities we have ever seen. It's essentially unlimited. It's great. All right, we're in a top 10 scenario here. Let's see what everyone's got in this lobby. So if I had an ideal loadout, I would actually just have my inventory right now. I'd probably just have shockwaves instead of this extra flowberry fizz, or I'd have airbending, which hopefully I can find one right here. It looks like I found waterbending. I mean, waterbending also heals your green HP or white HP if you're in water, which is really nice. Oh, somebody's fighting over there. We just get the slap. We are moving right now. The question is, if I could only have one, what would be the best weapon in Fortnite?
We got a little sweat on our hands. He's trying to leave. I see you. I'm trying to leave. Oh my gosh, I almost got sniped. I just chased this guy so far. Now I have this other guy trying to snipe me. Ooh, he just took a lot of damage. He's got sniped. I'm gonna figure out where this guy is. Oh shoot, that's not good. He's waiting for me. Grab this big pot. definitely somebody nearby I'm gonna break this for a little bit of hp now before i get into which weapon i think is the most busted i would say another top contender is going to be the mythic warforge uh assault rifle the one from Ares. it's actually really really good does a ton of damage and is really good at hitting people through walls which is fairly important especially when not many things can do that where is this guy We both just traded 20 damage. Oh my gosh, he's getting jumped. We get. There we go. Finally, that guy goes down. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. I can show you air bending. Now, air bending is actually great to combo with things. So what you can do is uh, pop Flowberry Fizz run jump and then hit air pimping and look at that i am zooming and that whole time you can aim and shoot which is phenomenal but yeah out of all these weapons i would say that the most overpowered has got to be the sniper the fact that you can one shot headshot people is absolutely insane and they've tried to just you know fix it they've tried to nerf it so many times and it just has never worked because it's just too good going up top no one of the last people has a sniper so i gotta be careful it's honestly what eliminates me most in fortnite let me try something oh my gosh like i just used it instead of a shotgun there now is fortnite gonna do anything about it well they already have tried it's a lot of fun to use but it's just so good oh oh you are so hurt well don't mind me geronimo hello Goodbye. <laughs> the sniper, gatekeeper shock with drum mag and thunderburst SMG with hip fire. Go try them out. MGG.